Hi there, Halu here. Uh, not much happened on January 24th, last Wednesday. I think it was just a normal day at work. I might have slept in in the morning, um, but here's what I had for dinner. Braised pork, sin choy, and buttered scallops. Good morning, it is January 25th, Thursday at 8.05 a.m. And truthfully honest, I have not been doing 3D. Um, Ever since the change in my daily vlogging, my routine kind of like fell off and that happens. That happens. Sometimes you make changes in your routine. It's hard to make those changes immediately, but give yourself some time and just keep working on it and just keep it in your mind. Just keep crushing it like it's a, a metal on an anvil and like just continue pushing it forward mentally and um, if you can't do it physically yet just focus on it mentally um, but yeah I mean 3d has been like just in my head um, but I do have something to blame and it's pal world I've been playing pal world every night I've been like wanting to play pal world every night but I'm starting to get to a point where that like newfound experience thrilling like addiction is starting to slow down um, I was playing yesterday by myself and it's just not as fun without friends so you know I'm gonna stick to just playing maybe when I have time and then um, play with friends whenever they're on but uh, yesterday I uh, purchased uh, two new courses one for Maya and another for Unreal and it covers a lot of the basics and foundations and things that I already know but I don't know a lot of things along with that meaning like sure I might know how to move the camera and move around and do certain little things but I don't know every single feature and like not knowing every single feature not like everything but like most of the essential functions not knowing that makes me feel just like a little less confident when I start working on something so I generally like to follow courses watch videos not only to get inspiration but also to just kind of push myself a little to work on my own so I purchased two new courses in um, celebration of international like learning day or something like that I don't know Udemy had like a huge sale off I got I got the courses for like 80 to 90 percent off and I love just acquiring courses even if I don't go through every single part of it I love just having it available having the, the progress tracker available so I can like see where I left off um, having the Q&A and the discussion board so I can um, you know talk to uh, other students about the process and, and ask any questions that I may have that YouTube doesn't really offer you ask a question on YouTube it's and not that I have asked in the past but like you ask a question on YouTube no one really wants to get to your question most of the comments in a video is you know directed towards the creator so in a discussion board for a course people are more likely to um, uh, add their answer, or add their input to the uh, video. So I uh, started this morning, woke up at 5 and started the Maya course this morning and I uh, only got through the basics of like moving around, user interface, such and such. Uh, things I already know, but even with that time, there are certain little things that the educator was providing that I had no idea of. Like little small things next to the things I already know. Um, so it's it's fun for me and it's also like um, uh, motivating for me to listen to these things to know like oh I didn't know I could do that um, so yeah I'm, I think I'm gonna just be going through that Maya course just to keep me on track of heading towards creating more things on my own because right now the idea even as simple as a chair like I wanted to just make a like table and a chair I know how to do that by heart I know how to do that in my in my head but the the this, the like confidence to just open up the program and start doing it isn't there for me right now. So which is why I like to you know get a get a course and kind of like get my foot in the yeah, get my foot in the water. Is that what they say? Yeah, just just get your feet wet, right? Just to start working on it. Um, so did that this morning, and I think I am going to continue my routine of. Um, 
uh, gym three times a week. So today I was supposed to go gym, but instead I opted for 3D since I've been slacking and playing Power World. Um, but I think I'm gonna continue doing gym t three times a week every other day starting Wednesday. Um, just because I think um, fitness is also very important and it also helps me like get my body warm and, and wake up earlier in the morning or at least feel more awake in the morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, this course is very, very easy to understand so far. Um, and uh, from what I see from the preview of the entire course, it's been uh, pretty exciting. But yes, I've been slacking. That's why uh, this video started out with just me talking on a Thursday morning. I didn't really record anything as of yesterday, Wednesday. Um, so yeah, going forward, tomorrow I will be picking up my girlfriend. I plan to surprise her with a raccoon onesie. Um, by the time that this video is out, she will already have seen it, so there's no worries about that. But um, yeah, she loves raccoons, and uh, I plan to surprise her with wearing a, a raccoon onesie, so we'll see how that goes. I headed over to Target on my lunch break to pick my girlfriend up a sim so she can use her phone while she's here. Also got some cleansers. The rest of the day was pretty normal. For dinner, I had some steak, steamed tofu with yesterday's scallops, a packaged salad kit, and soup. Okay, so I'm here at the airport. About to pick up my girlfriend, she just landed. And I got the onesie right here. About to put it on. I really hope I don't get it dirty, because I plan to return this. If I get it dirty, she'll be happy I have this. Oh, oh it's so big. Yeah. Come on. Come on, raccoon. Where the heck's the arm? I look ridiculous. Here's me at the airport as a raccoon. I didn't end up capturing the actual moment she saw me in it, but it was absolutely worth it. Then we went and got some Jollibees. Wow. wow. Can I have some? Nope. What the? <laughs> what the? I saw this cat outside just as we we're about to leave. Oh, there was a yeah. <laughs> does it work? Yeah, it does. Oh, can I cross? Good morning, it is January 27th, 2024, a little short under 8 a.m. I am headed to work to do a short three and a half hours just before going to my nephew's third birthday party. I got him this like little delicious ice cream Play-Doh set that is, uh, I mean he likes playing with Play-Dohs and it's an ice cream themed party, so I think it's just fitting. Plus, like, once he gets older, I'll get him some, like, real toys, like tech. <laughs> but for now, he can play with this Play-Doh. Um, picked up my girlfriend yesterday. That was uh, really fun. I dressed up as the raccoon. Um, gonna go return it back to Amazon. Uh, I don't have any other use for a onesie. And uh, I definitely don't want to wear it to sleep. Um, it has, like, a huge tail in the back. It's so uncomfortable if I were to lay on it. Um, but... Last night was good. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna do it. Uh, I went to Jollibee's to enjoy some good old fried chicken, which is, I had maybe like 10 pieces of fried chicken yesterday because at work we had fried chicken. I ate like five pieces. And then at Jollibee's I had a chicken sandwich and like another piece of chicken. I had a lot of fried chicken yesterday. My skin is reaping in the percussions. Reaping, reaping in the repercussion. I don't know. It, it has consequences to my skin. Um, but yeah, go, gonna head to work uh, for now. And then after the party, uh, we will be going to Las Vegas to visit my other sister and my other nephew. So this weekend should be fun. Looking forward to it all going down. I gotta get this uh, work slavery out of the way. Work is finally done. A little quick three and a half hours. Now I'm headed to Target to pick up some essentials. My dad drives a little crazy, so 
I gotta get some motion sickness pills for my girlfriend. And uh, also, I'm a dry ass bitch. I have no moisturizer for her to use, so I'm gonna go get some of that. Will anybody tell me why people in retail move so damn slow? Gosh, it takes like 10 minutes for one person to check out with two items. Why? Why? Anyways, the haul, the Target haul. Got some Dramamine for motion sickness. Got some Vianney cream for um, dry sickness. <laughs> Got a little cute bag for my nephew's gift. And some uh, tissue paper. Why is tissue paper so expensive? A dollar something for this? Am I a cheap ass or what? Tell me, why is tissue a dollar something? Okay, I do sound pretty cheap right now. Hey guys. Currently on the way to my nephew's birthday party. Play games in the meantime. We're stuck in traffic, obviously. But you know, you gotta pass the time somehow. So, you know, I'm enjoying some gaming. How you doing? Oh! Because the, the sizing doesn't work. Oh, they can't do You click it. No, they don't do He's dancing. Oh. Hello. I only got rid of the ones that are like, <laughs> you know who I am? Happy birthday! We drove over to Vegas, which took about four hours from California. I must have been really tired since I slept the entire way through. We checked into the hotel, but stayed at my sister's place for the night. We had a great view of the spear right outside our window. Here are some of the installations that they had set up at the Venetian slash Palazzo for Chinese New Year's. <laughs> Watch the ice cream. Now you want to get down? Hey. This is how much my thing is so small. What your what's your thing? This thing's small. What thing? What's small? This dog? Watch! Oh my goodness. Oh, time to get some dinner. Okay. Let's <laughs> 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 fight. Oh, I'm gonna watch this one! What the heck? What the hell? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Get out. Today we went to some walking slash hiking trails, I believe by Red Rocks. I had to trunk it since we couldn't fit all of us in the seats. Look, this is you. This is me. Hi. 
This is you. Mm -hmm. This is me. We went into some dead family's barn house. It was rustic and cute. I wonder how dead people feel about their home being turned into a museum. I guess we'll never know. Once we finished up, we hit the road and headed for some food. Went to this Korean restaurant in Chinatown, Las Vegas. Here's some of our banchan. We also ordered booty jiggly, chicken katsu, and bosan. Oh my god, that's tasty. <laughs> then we walked around Shanghai Plaza for a little bit. We'll get the toy poodle. Well, we don't know. Or should I get this one? You put it on your phone. No, get the toy poodle. Are there some you like animals. Veggie? The animal. You like animals. Fruit or um, veggie? Fruit. Behind you, watch out. There's more. Oh my god, get it! Get it! Hurry! It's a sunny angel. Oh my goodness. What is it? Open it! Open it! What is that? Grape? Yeah. <laughs> you happy? You happy with your pools? Mm -hmm. Nearly 5 a.m. So we woke up to get some sliders. Then we got 10 piece. And uh, 10, piece. 10 sliders and onion rings and fries. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you tired? It smells good. You excited? Take a bite. The next morning, we got up around 10 a.m. and walked over to Hash House A Go Go at the link. <laughs> so violent. <laughs> Dad's car needed some repairs and it's not going to be done till tomorrow. However, I got to get back to work. So, me and baby here, we got a, got a car rental, driving a Subaru Forester. She's trying to figure out CarPlay. I think you have to Bluetooth first. But yeah, then I head onto the road and drive for four hours. <laughs> when I slept through it earlier on the way here. The drive home wasn't too bad. It went by pretty quickly. We stopped by Alien Beef Jerky and they're actually building a UFO hotel here. So cool. Once we got back, we ordered some banchan, a local Korean fried chicken spot. It was a perfect meal after a long weekend. 
Thanks for watching and holla at you later.